State. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento with the mid-afternoon update, which stocks are basically mixed. The Dow's up a little bit, and then the S&P is down a little bit, NASDAQ is down, Russell is up a little bit, so it's a mixed bag of tricks here. We want to wish uh, a wonderful happy birthday to Basil Chapman today on Treskai Decaphobia, the fear of the number 13. This is the day when they slaughtered the Knights Templars way back in the Dark Ages. I posted a chart here, folks. This was an actual picture of a cabin in Mammoth Lakes, California, big ski area outside of Los Angeles, about three and a half hours up into the mountains. And folks, everything is closed. They can't even get road equipment in to move it because they've had so much, so much rain and so much snow, snow up here because it's so cold. An area of California that I'm familiar with, right outside of Santa Barbara, near where Michael Jackson's place was, received 19 inches of rain in a five-day period this past week. 19 inches. That's a lot of rain. And it's raining again today, too. So, so much for global warming. But, you know, it could happen again tomorrow. Who knows? Anyway, the stock market is basically fat, as I said. We've got the metals very strong. Silver is up. Gold making new highs up at 19.20 per ounce. And we also have copper getting ready to reach the level we've been waiting for of around 424. It's trading around 422 uh, right now. The grains are slightly higher. Corn up a penny or two. Beans are up about 15 cents. And wheat, of course, is still meandering to the downside. So we've got a mixed bag across the board here. we got a holiday coming in. Folks, on the, the uh, Monday, that is uh, Martin Luther King Day, and then the markets will resume Sunday night. And then, uh, remember, the rest of the world does not recognize some of our holidays. So there will be trading Sunday night in Europe and Asia, which have been pretty strong along the way here, too. So a uh, big thing this week is the fact that we made that big 61% retracement up there at that 40-60 level in the S&P. And if, uh, excuse me, 4021 level, we're trading about 20 handles under it right now, but with two hours to go, you could easily, so three, excuse me, three hours to go, we could easily get up there and take that out. So remember, folks, we've got a holiday coming up. The odds of a market closing higher the day before a holiday are better than seven out of 10. And right now, you could flip a coin, it could go, could go either way. We'll be right back. Our guest is Peter Lides, Stock Market Cycles. 